Now the slot, as you can see here, allows you to put these popsicle, popsicle sticks right there. Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Daniel here. If you follow my channel, you know that recently I posted a few videos on 3D printing projects like my remote control Har Armidale uh, Australian ship. Uh, and I did an amazing marble machine, also Game of Thrones, Winterfell, just to name uh, these uh, three. And because of that, I do more and more time-lapse videos. Now, time-lapse videos on 3D prints, you can do it like two different ways. You can have the camera outside and then you see everything moving. So you don't really focus on the object that you are printing. Or you can have a bracket and have the bracket on the bed holding the camera still so that you can actually focus on the, on the build going up layer by layer. There's a third technique I won't talk about here. It's a bit complicated. You need to change the G codes and an outside camera with a remote control shutter and having the head uh, touch that remote control. So I won't talk about that here. Now, I looked at the on the internet for uh, designs of brackets. I was not very happy because they were kind of all one side fits all. And uh, what if your camera has a different field of view and you need to be further away or closer to the uh, print bed so i came up with this first prototype and uh, please uh, don't laugh uh, look at this here you can see the band so i'm using pla uh, i guess abs would be better but i only have the pla at the moment so this bracket here was the idea was to put this over here on the bed it fits like perfectly and have the camera right there as you can see but the heat then this i was thinking i was thinking okay what can i do to solve the problem so i thought okay i need the material inside as you can see i have slots i need something inside that will hold the plastic together and prevent the bending so i thought of popsicle sticks readily available cheap they're sturdy enough so my design, as you can see here, is all modular. Uh, for example, this is the vertical bracket. So if you want the camera to be higher, you just print this longer. The same with the horizontal beam. These come over here. So if you want this to be longer because you want the camera to be further away, you print this longer. And then you glue everything together. Now, the slot, as you can see here, allows you to put these popsicle, popsicle sticks right there. And this is the end of the bracket. It goes like this. And you build two of those, identical. I thought it would be better, and I'll show you why in a second. You build two of those, upside down, and there you go. You glue them together. You don't see the uh, popsicle sticks. And this will become your horizontal bracket attached to the heat bed this is the vertical bracket let me put that here in the field of view this is the camera bracket and again if you need this to be longer or wider for your camera you can do that easily and for my camera as you can see it fits right there it fits like perfectly and i built these little edges here on the uh, let me remove this on the bracket so that if you use um, tie wraps to hold the camera the tie wraps will not slide outside the bracket so the bracket goes over here right there and this part here is a holder so this will be used to put on the bed and with those uh, clips you can just hold the bracket very very firmly using two clips at each side and this will be right there on top so this is the system um, well, we'll see if it works well, but for sure, uh, it's modular. You can fit it like for the dimensions that you need, but mainly you can print all these parts without support. And I always prefer no support. You save on plastic, you save on printing time. And every time you remove support, you actually damage the surface of your print. That's the nature of a uh, support. So you can print all these without any support so let me uh, 
glue them together. I'll be back in a second. Our bracket is in place as you can see. I'm using the clips here to keep it on the bed. A power cable, this is a long print, we need power. And because of that, I'm using tie wraps to keep the camera firmly in place so it doesn't move at all. So this print will last uh, five hours and we will see what kind of uh, time-lapse video we can get with this uh, bracket design. So it worked quite well like we saw. I just need to shield the very bright display of the Ender 3 printer and I'll get a better picture. Now I still had a little bit of a band as you can see here. This is the bracket that touches the hot bed. So I came up with prototype number three and this is the one I will post on Thingiverse.com and I'll put the link in my video description. So I made this part here, the horizontal beam, a little bit a little bit thicker not a big difference so i was able to fit eight popsicle sticks instead of four so i was able to put two together like so to make it more stiff and on the side here you have two at the bottom and two at the top so this makes in my opinion the perfect bracket it's also very light so it works quite well I'm going to use that in my future videos. So thank you guys for watching. And if you have any questions on this uh, design or if you have any issues, let me know. I'll uh, help you. Have a good day. Goodbye, guys.